Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Short little mini series, if you will, on water filtration bottles. I made a video, I believe this was my second video ever, other than my intro vid, about water bottles that can filter your water for you. And I did all three of the ones I tend to use or carry or own in the same video. And I realized, you know, maybe that's not the best way. And I was looking back, going, no, nah, let's do individual vids. You can get a lot more uh, usable information out of that. I, of course, still recommend you check that old one out, even though it sucks. Uh, terrible vid. Anyway, enough about that. So let's go down to the breakdown here. This is one of them. This is the Just Water Me mini ceramic filter bottle. Um, bought this online from Cheaper Than Dirt a long while back for about 20 bucks. It was $19.95, $19.97, something like that. It's good. It's decent. It seems to be based off of the monolithic ceramic filters which are fine. Uh, I've got some complaints about that. We'll talk about that later. Uh, this thing has a 24 ounce capacity and is good for up to 200 refills, though that 200 refills is probably only going to be your uh, city water, your, your cleaner stuff. Uh, it's going to be cut by half if you're dealing with extra, extra dirty water. Uh, it'll filter down to 0 0.2 microns. I'll post all the stats on this, or at least a link to the stats, in the comments section below. But uh, these filters are silver impregnated. Um, if you keep this on the shelf, it's going to last longer if you, every three or four months, take it up and shake it. Shake the uh, carbon in the inside of the filter and all that free. It's going to last longer. Um, improve your shelf life. But uh, once in use, this thing is good for about six to eight months, depending on what you're putting through it. Uh, so for 20 bucks, at 24 ounces a piece, let's just do best options. 200 refills is equal to 4,800 ounces of water. That's fluid ounces, of course and do the conversion to us Americans, that's 37 and a half gallons. So, a month. This is a month supply of water without trying to filter anything like that if you're doing the whole one gallon per person per day. Uh, let's talk about the outsides of this thing first. Plastic, made in China. Nice and squeezy. Um, don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, you be the judge. Comes in green, blue, and I don't know what other colors, those are the only ones I've seen. Why did I get green? I don't know. Just did. It's got the website here, justwater.me, right there, if you can see that. So, let's talk about the rest of this thing. We'll start with the top. Got a nice little loop here for carabiner attachment to your pack or your waist or whatever the heck you're carrying this thing on. So, that's nice. Uh, got some rubberized top on the grip. So, if your hands are wet, something like that, you can unscrew it fairly easily. Uh, one thing I do like about this, it's got a nice bite valve top like you're used to and your camel backs and all that. You're going to have to bite into this thing to suck water through it and it's going to lock closed once you close it down. One thing I don't like is it doesn't have any kind of protection cover on top of this thing for the bite valve. So if you're crossing a stream and you know water splashes up and you get some dirty contaminated water on this bite valve, you're going to be in trouble. Uh, potentially. Probably not, but just a, con just a thought, consideration. So let's open this thing up, see what she looks like. And, of course, I would recommend adding a carabiner to this. Just don't have one on there. Got your long plastic tube there and your little cutesy little ceramic filter there. Uh, mini ceramic filter. If you've seen the monolithic filters, and I need to do a review on that, well, looks the same, just smaller. You can shake it. Hear the carbon on the inside. Uh, as I said earlier, this thing is silver impregnated, so it's going to cut down on bacterial growth and all that. And again, 0 0.2 microns. So that's pretty darn good for a $20 bottle. What are you going to say? Uh, hard to beat that. I think you might say this isn't going to treat viruses and other stuff. No. But uh, what you can do, and I don't have it here for you to show you, but uh, if you're paranoid about that stuff, and I'll probably do a secondary bit on that, what you need is a little eyedropper bottle filled with bleach. Simple. Easy. Some small little container you can drip water out of, or just a small container that you can use an eyedropper. You may want to carry that. I'd say a little squeezy bottle that can drip things out one drop at a time is going to be the most efficient. One little tiny container of that is going to last, I don't say forever, but for a ridiculous amount of time if you're out camping or on the trail or whatever. Uh, short term 72 hour kits, that sort of thing. You can't vid on that coming later. Apologize, don't have it here. So, you know, put your uh, bandana handkerchief over this thing, filter all the water you want to in it. If you still don't trust it, 
put the appropriate amount of uh, water drops or chlorine drops in this thing and let the bad boy sit, okay? Uh, let it do its thing and then start filtering through. That's going to you know, take care of all the bacteria and protozoas and again, bleach is fantastic. Uh, does a good job. Of course, don't use the uh, scented bleaches and the floral bleaches and all that junk. Just get plain old 6 or 7% Clorox bleach. So, anyway, the ceramic filter here, it works. Um, I've used one of my monolithic filter attachments before and some buckets and all. I'll do vids on those later, but uh, for another time. Only thing I don't like about this, this thing is fragile. It's very fragile. I would worry about this thing shattering if it takes a big blow. Now, you're going to have this thing, hopefully, in the bottle with water in it. Hopefully, it's going to cushion things. And hopefully, you're not going to take any spills. But can you count on that? No. You don't know if you're going to fall and fall on some sharp rock, something like that, hit with a blow and crack this thing. If this thing gets cracked, you're probably screwed as far as that goes. Time to boil water and use your bleach and all that other stuff. But this is okay. It's a decent option for 20 bucks. Um... I actually think I saw these at Walmart maybe six months ago. The bottle looked the same, the top did. I never actually opened them. Uh, don't know why I didn't. I just didn't stop to look. Um, should have. But anyway, ceramic filters are great. Uh, again, six to eight month life once you start using it. Depends on what you put in there. Again, the only concern I've got with this thing is that the ceramic filter sits right on the bottom. You can hear it rattle around, but it is darn close to the bottom. Uh, if you do the math, um, how far this thing sits down. It is... It may, it, it's not all the way, but man, that just bothers me. Nice hard blow on the side, something like that. Again, squishy of a bottle is this. Is it going to compress if it's not full of water, if this thing's empty? It's going to compress when you fall on it and shatter the inside. That bothers me. I would certainly carry this thing full, uh, even if just tap water or something like that. So I would not keep this empty if you carry it out in the field. But anyway, $20 option. Uh, if you want to buy replacements, the a little replacement ceramic uh, mini ceramic filters are about 10 bucks on cheap in the dirt but for 20 bucks for the whole thing i don't know if i'd buy a replacement i might just buy a whole other bottle again this thing gonna take some wear and tear over time i don't just have a stack of these set up yes at twice the price yeah well it depends on what you want to do it's your personal choice but anyway 20 dollars for the just water me water bottle good for about 37 and a half gallons let's call it 37 gallons or Let's round it down to 35 in best situation use, um, about half of that. So that's good for a couple of weeks of heavy-duty use. And again, only in the hottest condi uh, conditions and situations are you going to end up needing a gallon per person per day, especially drinking water, okay? Uh, there's other ways. Anyway, just trying to do some individual vids of these. I'll have some others coming up soon. MD Prepper, out.